Hello everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Dodgy and no, your eyes are not deceiving you. I have a brand new camera. I'm very excited to finally have my 360 Insta 4K camera. I got it for my birthday and so I have a new camera. I have a new mic. I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. Um, right now it's uh, changing between purple and blue so it goes along with the rest of my color scheme purple and blue um, yeah so far I really love I love this I love I love my camera I love my mic um, I got my beacon oh by the way this is a beacon mic I, I don't think I mentioned it um, but this is a beacon mic I got the beacon soundboard adjusty thingy I forget what they actually call it but uh, yeah, I got that as well. I moved my PC over here. I got a new desk for it, so now it looks clean. It's not on a, a dinner tray, like, you know, those TV dinner foldy thingies and you put it in front of you and the TV and you can eat your meal off of it. Yeah, no more of that. I don't have that anymore because that's what I was using for the longest time and it wasn't even to hold my PC on because I knew that was too, uh, too risque. Um, I mean, I did, I did have it on there temporarily for like a hot minute, um, until I built this new stand. I'll probably end up taking a picture of my setup, how it all looks. I'll, uh, post it in the community page so you guys can enjoy what I've done, what I have done. I've cleaned up my entire setup here, um... I reorganized my wires so now they look clean underneath. It's not like a jungle gym of, of wires just everywhere. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. So um, I did have a good birthday. Thank you everybody who wished me well for my birthday. I appreciate you guys and I love you. And um, yeah, I overall like this has been a really good week minus the frustration of me trying to get uh, everything set up. Uh, between the program for the beacon mic, the camera, and OBS. It, it was literally, I think I've been working on this for three days. That's why I didn't have a video yesterday. Yeah, it's, it's because I've, I've been sun up to sundown trying to figure this thing out, but we're here. We got it, we're ready. But without further ado, I have a new game for you. It is called My Friendly Neighborhood. Now, I did play the demo mm, probably about a year now, a year ago. I want to say it was sometime last year. Um, it's basically a horror version of Sesame Street, which is terrifying for me because um, uh, <laughs> in case you don't know or in case you haven't been on my channel long enough to know, have a fear of Muppets. It's a weird, irrational, stupid fear. Um, I blame Kermit. <laughs> Kermit has traumatized me. Him and Snuffleupagus. Both of them traumatizing. Big Bird, he kind of, kind of was on the, on the edge of like making me want to poop my pants when I was little. But, um, yeah. So let us play my friendly neighborhood. Sit back, relax, grab your snack, grab your beverage of choice, grab your stuffy, and let's get on with the show. I saw something. Felt something, maybe. It was more real than reality. I felt like I was lost, walking through this dark tunnel, and the ground beneath me stretched on for an eternity. Felt like I was dying. What the heck? He swerved out of his lane, striking a passenger van that started a pile up, killing seven. In weather, we'll all be sad to see another band of thunderstorms heading toward the city tomorrow night. That was an interesting uh, introduction. I had this insane sense of of um, emptiness and terror, and I just, I just... I don't care who she sees. We're not even married anymore. She can see whoever she wants. 
Okay. <laughs> All right. So, so, Ashley, what did you do to end up solving the problem? I ignored it. Tried Naturally. Get. I watched television. And that helped? It dulls the pain. Are you going to scare the alley? No. So that was an interesting introduction. Um, I don't know what to make of it, but we're going to play normal. And then we're going to play survival eventually. Ooh. Okay. Last job of the day. What's this one about? So these are the work orders, I guess, that we're getting. I, I'm guessing we are an electrician, maybe? So I know I am blocking the work orders, but I will read it for you anyways. So we have Sprocket Palm Property Management, our work order request. The client is City Network Broadcasting Group. Property, 123 Sunrise Street. <laughs> The date is July 8th, 1993. Crewman assigned, that's me, Gordon J. O'Brien. I am a handsome devil, aren't I? Description of problem. Vacant studio lot regained power last night and began televising over top of normal programming. The client has requested that the broadcast array on top of the Central Hotel be disabled to prevent further incidents. Supervisor's signature, J. Not not from J and Silent Bob. I'm just saying. But J. Just J. Oh, we got a note. Note. Truman O'Brien, that's me, is on probation. What? For sullen and impolite behavior towards clients. Oh, I've been a naughty boy, haven't I? Failure to satisfactorily complete this work order will result in termination. So we're at my last thrall. If I don't get this work done and uh, it's not done well, my ass is gray ass. So uh, yeah, let's make this thing work. Press escape. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. What is that? Oh, I'm not eating that. That's been there for days. Ooh. Oh, that's a sandwich. Okay. Oh, well, if it's been there for days, why do we have it in our car? <gasps> a chocolate bar. Oh, I'll take that. Can I can I put that back? No. Can I play the tunes? Ooh, what's that? I got that in the war. Last time I stick my neck out for someone. It's not quite a purple heart, but uh, it'll do. I'm not leaving yet. I just got here. I just got here. I love that he has a New York accent. That's so cool. All right, I guess that's us exit the truck. Disabled antenna. Oh. The last job of the day is always the worst. It is, isn't it? God, they did such an amazing job. Just look at this. Holy cow. Oh, God, this is so gorgeous. This is just great. Because I know in the demo, um, you started off in the building. God, look at that sky. Oh, man. Okay. Now that we've sufficiently taken in the sights, let's us enter. One, two, three, whatever street this is. It's not Sesame Street, but, you know. We got building four over there. Office. Oh my. What? Ricky with friends. Why do we have an arrow pointing this way? Now you got me curious. Hello? Secrets? <gasps> Secret entrance. Huh. Okay, I, that actually might be the entrance to get in. So, um... I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's not a creepy statue. Oh! Oh, okay. Um... How did that not get washed away in the rain? Some sort of slot? Well, four is open. Got an old... Old taxi cab over here. Anything? Anything? I need a key card for that. So I wonder if I'm going to be able to go into these other buildings. Because you need a key card for that. That's a slot. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, it kind of looks like... I'm trying to see. It almost looks like it's a... Like a bird sanctuary or something. It almost looks like there's a tree in there. It's hard to see. But there's definitely a staircase. Leads up top. Almost like a... Well, yeah. Okay. It's an aviary. So I was right. This is a... Um, this is a bird cage, basically. And I'm guessing it had music in it. Playing at one point when it was up and running. And it's glory days. What's over here? Okay, I can inspect it, but I can't do anything with it. And he didn't say anything about it, so... Hmm. I don't think I can go in the office either. Eh. 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 You're telling me I can't walk through here? What the heck? <gasps> oh, hopscotch. I'm such a child. Okay, yeah. No. So you can't go in the office, can't go in the building four, and the Avery is locked up tight. Yeah, okay, so we... Now we have sufficiently uh, looked at everything on the outside. Taken in all the beautiful scenery. Let's see if we can walk in here. There's an elevator. Maybe it still works. Maybe. I don't know. Let's, uh... Let's go see. All the lights are on, so... But nobody... Nobody works here? <gasps> oh. Oh. Is that... Was that for the for the one door? Hold on, I kind of want to see now. Oh, did I already find a missing piece? Let's see. Does it go here? It does! Oh, nice! Okay, cool. We got one piece to that puzzle. Already, off with a banger. MFN Ring me. Ring me. Okay. Ooh, look at my hairy arm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Raise the <laughs> curtain. Bring up the lights. The neighborhood is coming to town. Uh Hello, I'm here to disconnect the antenna. Television's heartbeat has returned. A spirit of cheer brightens every child's eye. The cry goes round the kindergarten class. The neighborhood! The neighborhood! Okay. I I'm here to disconnect the antenna. I am Ricky the Sock. Your Hi, Ricky. television will never be the same. We- hold on. Did you say disconnect the antenna? Yeah. Yes. Oh my, no, 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 no. You mustn't do that. That would be a catastrophe. Why? It's broadcasting over the news. The news? No, no, trust me. The antenna is just fine as it is. Doesn't need any disconnecting. <laughs> you what, you ain't here, and I'll... And I'll, uh... I'll get you, I'll get you some... Nope! <laughs> uh. Oh, that 
wasn't pleasant. How? How did that happen? How did that happen? Um, okay then. Okay. How did a sock throw up a key card? There's a lot. There's a lot with that. Furthering my uh, my reasons as to why I hate Muppets. I mean, it's really not a Muppet. It's a sock puppet. Can I grab that? Thank you. All right. So we were supposed to go to the elevator first. Uh, I'm guessing the elevator doesn't work. Oh. Is this glue? Why is that glued? Oh, candy bars. So if I get coins, then I can get more candies. Why Why is it only candy bars, though? It's only candy bars? Okay. Hello. Norman. It looks like something could be placed here. What could be placed there? Junebug? Leonard? Lillian? I think it's Lillian. Lillian. Who are you? And why are you missing an eye? George. You look like a George. This area is off limits. Oh, locked from the other side. Okay. So maybe these doors will be open later? All locked. Can I sit on the comfy chair? I cannot. Okay, well, that's interesting. Good to know. Got to find things to place on the statues, and then maybe those doors will open. Or maybe not. I don't know. Who knows? But we have a key card now, so let us go to building four and see what's in there. Ah! Hey, who's that? <laughs> okay okay i'm not gonna freak out i'm not gonna freak out is it dark already no it's not it's still that beautiful pinkish purple i wish the sky actually looked like this all the time a nice pinkish purple kind of hue it just makes things brighter in this dreary dreary area uh, what is that? I guess if I can power this thing... I'm gonna need some kind of key. Maybe a diamond? I'm not sure. But I'm, I'm guessing once, uh... Once I find the key to that, I can unlock this gate and go through here and investigate what's back there. But all right, let's uh, uh, let's go and follow. What's his face? Or should we check down there? Let's check down there first. Let's check in the secret tunnel. There was that secret tunnel. Oh, looks like a crank could go here. Okay, interesting. So we gotta find a crank as well, so that we can unlock that secret entrance. You're not in here, right? You're not behind this car? You're not gonna pop up behind me? All right, he must've went inside. Ooh. Hello? Hello? Oh, what is that humming? Okay. Oh, I got a coin. Sweet, I'm gonna need that for snacks. Look at that picture and tell me that that is not creepy. What is that red thing? Is it supposed to be a dragon? Whatever it is, I don't want to know. All right, first broadcast. The City Tribune, Saturday, November 9th, 1968. Television's Friendly New Neighbor Review of My Friendly Neighborhood by Richard Lightsbury. This week saw the premiere of a new series on the city network aimed at preschool age children, My Friendly Neighborhood. The show centers on the titular Friendly Neighborhood and its resident puppets, who, 
with the help of adults like Stevie, Richie Broman teaches viewers about a variety of subjects, including numbers, letters, and how to be a friendly neighbor. The show's catch-all term for age-old lessons about caring and sharing. While adult viewers may find their message trite, children's hearts are captured by the neighbors. Each felt furball becomes a beloved friend whose words are hung on to with a trust and devotion rarely seen in older audiences. Previously aired as Ricky and Friends on independent public access television, the series and creator Al Jerswald were recently signed by the City Network Broadcasting Group and production moved into the historic City Network Hotel Studio on the west side. Their move into the big leagues of broadcasting is accompanied by illegible text. Did I did I take it? I guess I took it. What's that? Typewriter with nothing on it. Okay. Oh, that's not creepy. Ah, the humming. Hello? Hello? I heard somebody. Hello? Hmm. Ooh. The Mystic Maze. Nine out of ten doctors recommend health lax Sounds like a laxative. Okay, so we have two doors. Should we go up or down? Let's let's go to this door first. Ooh. Hey yo, I'm normal. I'm Hello? a really normal guy. Is anyone there? I just kind of uh, show up in a friendly face in the background. Sometimes I get some lines to recite too. <laughs> okay. Hello. If you go to the park. Bring some food for all the wild animals. For birds, you can bring sunflower seeds. For squirrels, you can bring peanuts. For dogs, you can bring squirrels. For the sewer pit, you can bring yesterday's leftovers. For the sand pit, you can bring whatever's in your kitchen. Okay. 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 You can bring a punk box. Let's go this way. I don't I don't want to interact with him. What the heck is going on here? You give me a task, and I'll give you a craft. I like to start with pipe cleaners to give myself okay. something to make shapes. They're out. everywhere. I'll make triangles and squares and circles. Ah. Uh, okay. That's not the way either. I'm gonna just what? Maybe I could find the key. What's this shape all about? A circle? I, I don't know. It's a circle. Bugs the world has to offer. Well, that one just appears in my house. Dang it. Skunk cabbage in the mail. My okay. Stuffed into a box and shipped to my house in the mail. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, so that's not the way. I don't think. Ah! It's locked. <laughs> I gotta find a shape, I guess. But that guy is there. Okay. All right. Let's. Let's see. Okay, I don't like that he's doing that. Alright, let's uh let's see what's down here. There's a taxi man. What's that? Oh, I got a coin. Okay. Okay. Ugh, it's locked from the other side. Why? Am I stuck down here? 
I'm stuck down here. What do I do? Okay. Okay. Let's go this way. <laughs> All right. Here's another shape. What do the shapes mean? We got tissues. Hello? Oh. <gasps> Health of wax. Oh, maybe it's not a laxative. All right. I picked two things up. Tutorial, you can use health relax to restore health. Okay, so it's not a laxative. It is a healing potion. Press tab to open your inventory. Press E to continue. Oh, S. We have an S. Cool. What's this? Episode 16 script. Exit Main Street. The neighborhood is having an outdoor bazaar. Everyone is lining up at Leonard's antique display to try on a beautiful pair of earrings. Pearl enters, sees the earrings, and cuts in the line, pushing Lillian out of the way and causing a commotion. <gasps> How dare she? Pearl, that wasn't nice. Stevie chimes in, standing up from a bench. Pearl, that wasn't nice. Pearl sheepishly glances around at the others, who are all glowering at her, and hunches in shame. For shame. For shame, Pearl. Stevie, you can't just push people out of the way and get what you want, Pearl. It's more friendly to think about other people first. Do you see? Pearl shakes her head timidly. Stevie, well, maybe this will make it clear. Put another before yourself. Put another before yourself. Before you go, see if someone needs help. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Oh my god. Okay. That was my, my little song and dance for Brielle. It's not embarrassing at all. I'm not embarrassed. You're embarrassed. Oh, it's a toilet. Toilet room. Ew. Why does that look so dirty? Ew. And why am I so short? God, I'm a short man. Duct tape. Why do I have duct tape? Why do I need duct tape? And why was duct tape in the toilet? I just reached in there and grabbed it? Gross. It's locked. I need that symbol, whatever that symbol is. Okay. Got a rag here. Oop. <laughs> no. Go away, go away, go away. Oh, he's making weird noises. We're gonna keep on moving on. Is that a fan going? What is that? It's like a weird humming. Another TV that I do not have access to. There's a guitar. Cannot go in there. Oh, a wrench? The trusty wrench. Is that my weapon? <gasps> oh, tutorial. Press left button to swing the wrench. Yes, I got a tool. I can fight back now. What is that? It's locked. But that's a key. Right? That's a key? It's locked, but how do I unlock it? Okay. Hmm. I feel like I need to hit that. Duct tape. 
Magazine. Hmm. Now I know. Let's see if we can hit this, um, <laughs> creepy Muppet. <laughs> what do you do? Are you yes! are you oh, oh, jeez. Stay back. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, you can tape them. Okay. That's what the duct tape was for. Well, I only have one duct tape. <gasps> okay, that did nothing. Tools. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I can stash him. Okay. Interesting. <gasps> coins. More coins. I can buy more snacks. Okay. Stage four. Complete, not complete. It looks the same. Take sound stage map. All right. We got the sound stage map. Press M to open your map. Oh. Complete, not complete. Oh, look, there I am. I almost look like a knockoff version of Mario. So this is only for... F oh, no. Okay. Interesting. Five cents to save. Health station. All right, well, I think this is a good place to stop since there is a save place. Might as well, uh, might as well save. Boom. That is all the time I have for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and if you are subscribed, please be sure to hit the bell notification. That way you are aware of the next time that I post. I love you. Don't forget your boobs. Okay, bye.